second thing is you there is there is a strap here. So from here to here to here up to here. This is called as a safe zone of shoulder. So you can make n number of portals from here to here without compromising any neurovascular structures. So middle to coracoid you should avoid. And this is this is a portal called as a subclavian portal, which is just uh, underneath the clavicle. So that is little bit you have to make it very close to the clavicle. Now, uh, as far as the first portal is concerned, which is a posterior portal, the posterior portal is made about uh, in this hill approximately. So about three to four centimeters posteriorly and medially. The important thing whenever you make a <coughs> portal is the retroversion of the humerus. So you need to see that which is the position of the shoulder. If the shoulder is falling back, you will go straight in. If the shoulder is falling anteriorly, you might have to go in a direction. So you need to take care of the retroversion of the shoulder uh, when inserting a portal. Now, if you want to correct the retroversion into normal position, some people recommend that you have to posterior it till 10 to 20 degrees so that to remove the effect of the retroversion. So you can just tilt it posteriorly and then it will be just falling. <coughs> now this is normal uh, 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 placement. So we usually have a hook with which we have tied it. So we don't need any traction into it. So whenever you do, do a rotator cuff, it's more of a suspensory fixation, suspensory uh, traction. Uh, usually, uh, you should not pull it very hard, and still the traction time should not be more than three hours, by for any case, because it can cause uh, occasionally fatal fixation issues. So, and now uh, you can make portals for insertion of the anchors in this region. Uh, the standard portal is the posterior, posterior portal. This is for the intraarticular part. The uh, whole of my rotator cuff I'll be doing from this portal. This is called as the posterior lateral portal. And then one portal, uh, which is at one third level, and in this region, this will be my working portal in the lateral portal, somewhere around here. For the cup, and for the um, bank cards, you make two portals at the right or superior. Now this is an end portal, that is a nivazir portal. We have one more portal, which is called as a modified nivazir portal. So this portal is usually a little bit back here in this direction. So it's posterior and uh, medial to the nivazir portal and this will be a very good portal for passing of the sutures through the cuff in the supraspinatus tendon. Okay. Uh, then there is a portal which is called as a high posterior middle portal. This is a very good portal for passing the uh, sutures through the infraspinatus. So this modified nivazir portal is for the supra and then you have a high posterior middle portal, HPM.